Hello guys, Dargame here. Welcome back to some more Watch Dogs Legion. I hope you enjoyed the series so far. Please like and subscribe to the channel. And let's get right to it. GPS history of the spider bot we recovered regularly pinged these coordinates. Our mystery witness to the real bombers must have come to this lovely, damp location several times. How secretive. The kind of place forbidden lovers would meet for a quick, um, shag. Or to discreetly dump a body into the Thames. All we need is a way in. I'm detecting a surveillance network guarding a space under this bridge. If you can patch into it, perhaps you can take a look inside. Oh my goodness, look at all of this. Looks like the police were hiding out in here. Well, if Albion was stomping all over your workplace, you'd find a different place to store your lunch too. And it seems our mystery officer was dedicated. What were they working on that led them to the tone bombing? The computer's dusty enough to kill an asthmatic, but there may still be something useful on it. This is Inspector Caitlin Lau. Well, former inspector now, since Albion's coup. The Met is no more. The police brass had already buried the evidence anyway. Everything implicating Albion and Clan Kelly in the bombings. But I know Mary Kelly's band of twats were involved, and they're involved in other crimes we can look into. Me and a few good mates are willing to go off book, going after Mary Kelly again. 
I'll never fucking learn, will I? Inspector Caitlin Lau, video log. Plan Kelly and Albion are teamed up on some deal. I don't have all the details, but it looks to be human trafficking. The European Processing Center is the Albion angle. Since the bombings, they can grab anyone off the street. Call them illegal immigrants, potential dead sick insurgents, whatever. Though we know who the real danger is. So, Clan Kelly gets hold of these people, these immigrants, deportees, victims, really, and they're taking them somewhere. But where and why? <laughs> it all comes back to the boss lady herself. I knew she was into something, but she wriggled off the hook. There's only one way I can do this. 24-7 surveillance on Mary Kelly. If I'm caught, well, this will be my last entry. But I have to see what she's hiding. So, our mystery officer was Inspector Caitlin Lau. It sounds like Mary Kelly was her white whale, and her investigation led her to the bombings. There we have it. Albion working with Clan Kelly. It's like the bubonic plague working with smallpox. It seems like Zero Day's web covers all of the unsavory bits of London. Tug on a thread, and it leads back to them. Clan Kelly and Albion included. Well, seems clear we have to do something about all those people taken right off the streets. Inspector Lau mentioned Albion is running their part of the operation out of the EPC. Detectives like us call that a lead. This Albion clan Kelly business leaves a bad taste in my mouth. And if Caitlin Lau's right, then this little nugget jumps to the front of the queue. We have reason to believe a former dead sec operative may still be alive, but missing inside the EPC. Angel Lopez, not London born, but I won't hold that against him, unlike some others. Looks like Angel got caught up in the immigration roundup, which, ironically, may be the only reason he escaped Zero Day's dead sec purge. Anti-immigrant sentiment has grown in London since the bombings. Albion fuels it. It allows them to send anyone they want to their brutal refugee camp. We need to find Angel before they discover he's dead sec. This is kind of personal team. But finding his trail might just shed some light on the Albion clan Kelly connection. Shit. Well, the good news is he's in country. No one's taking deportees from the UK. The bad news is he's probably in limbo at the EPC. I've sent the details to your device and advised our contact at the EPC. They can get you inside. So, I've delved more into Caitlin Lau's investigation, and an enormous number of missing person cases center around the EPC. The inspector was definitely onto something. Let's find our contact. I don't think Albion are above torturing Angel if they find out he's dead, Zach.
Taking care of your entry, get you in quick and quiet. Nothing official, right? Trying to keep the old footprint off the books? No worries, I'll spoof. But come meet me on the rooftop. The only place here that doesn't smell like piss. Got some info for you. The European Processing Center. It processes deportees by stacking them up in squalid conditions and forgetting about them. But hey, it's to protect London, right? What on earth is going on here? This place is worse than a prison camp. Every day I see people come through here, torn from their homes and their families. But I'd rather stay and keep our eye on things. Maybe help out once in a while, like no. Christ. Hard to believe our government is fine with treating anyone this way, illegal or not. You could disappear without a trace in here, no one would notice. Yeah, well, people have been disappearing. Records say they have been processed, but it doesn't add up. No one ever properly leaves. And with the Kellys prowling around like fucking hyenas, I am not too optimistic about the people slipping through the cracks. Fuck. Mary Kelly and her gang of thugs have their grubby mitts and everything dodgy that happens in this city. True. Now, about your missing guy. The best place to start would be the EPC database. They keep a record of everyone that comes in. And be careful. pushing the location of the EPC database on your optic. There will be a database here that we can search for evidence on Angel Lopez.
been deleted from the main database, along with hundreds of others. Still very detailed. Even when committing crimes against humanity, the government doesn't skimp on paperwork. Here is a recording labelled Exit Interview. Don't let the tit get away. Nothing here. Don't see anyone. You know what we do with terrorists, Lopez? Uh-uh, don't go pissing me off by denying anything. We know you're with dead sick. You think you were picked up on some random sweep? Not a fucking chance. Nothing to say. Hmm. Well, this is not gonna go well for you then, because I want information. The rest of your cell, where are they? I want names, places, everything you've got. You think I'm daft? I spill everything I know and what? You let me go? I'm not talking. I know how this ends. Oh, I don't think you do. I'm going to throw you to the wolves. The Kellys have an interesting way of disposing with problems. You think I'm scared of some fucking thoughts? Of winding up floating in the dams? Fuck you. You're too pretty for that, mate. <laughs> First, they'll peddle you. For Dosh, right? Then, when you're used up, they're going to chop you up and send the pieces to the four corners. I sorry. can take whatever you've way. got. I almost feel sorry for you. Get him to the bloody clinic, then. Shit. They knew he was dead sick the whole time. This doesn't look good for Angel. The clinic keeps government service hours, which means it's closed. We'll have to find Angel the old-fashioned way and hack their CTOS hub. Deportation limbo, horrible living conditions, unexplained disappearances. It's almost as if the media are deliberately ignoring the situation here in favor of... Oh, look here, Beatrice Stokely, 89, recently took up kickboxing to fill up her days. Fascinating. If the EPC is a typical example of how humans treat each other, I'd say a benevolent AI overlord is a step up, wouldn't you? Oh, bog off, bags. I have reconstructed an AR scene of Angel's examination. You can view it inside the clinic. Brilliant. CTOS AR, data reconstruction in progress. Let's make a deal, yeah? I know people outside. 
outside. Maybe I can help you out. J just let me out of here. Procedures, Mr. Lopez. We'll have you out of here in a minute or two. Fuck! What was that? We need to take a closer look. Facial analysis matches for both. They're part of Mary Kelly's little pack. So, Inspector Lau was right after all. Clank Kelly and Albion are in bed together. What a shit orty that would be. Microchips, coated with biocompatible glass to prevent rejection. So they've implanted a microchip in Angel's neck. A health monitor? A tracker, maybe? No, these are more sophisticated. If I had to guess, I would say they were designed to deliver a dose of some unknown compound. Not the kind of thing you find at your local corner shop. I could reconstruct the path he took if you want to see how this clip hanger gets resolved. Stay on his tail. He may have gotten away. Fucker! Get it! Before he triggers! Fuck! He's getting away! Get after him! Shit, they're catching up on him. Come on, Angel. Bugger me, he might make it. Damn, fucked up. We don't have a match yet. She's gonna kill us. No, it's fine. As long as he's not damaged, there'll be no waste. Demand's high with the new network. Guess you're right. This tube will get him in the van and out to the incinerator. Well, that was unexpected. I have a feeling that microchip wasn't just a simple tracking device. They must have triggered it remotely. Whatever Mary Kelly is up to, she wants Angel alive. We need to find him, see what they did to him, and what that fucking microchip is all about. Seems like advanced technology for Mary Kelly and her band of thugs to be waving around. Could Mary be part of a scary dark web hacker group like, say, oh, I don't know, pick one, Zero Day? Interesting theory, Bagley, but hold your investigation algorithms for the moment, will you? Angel needs us. The incinerator they mentioned is probably the Southwark incinerator. It's practically right round the corner. Hooray! Another friend to raise hell with. Welcome to DeadSec. Bang in. Hype to expose the bastards in charge, yeah? Lovely. Why? Can't deal with this right now. No, no, you sure? This is where the Kelly thugs brought Angel. 
Gives me the fucking chills. Now, now, keep your chin up. We'll find him. There's a camera network that might have caught where they took him. Let's hurry and access that network, shall we? I've gone over the captured footage. I was able to follow Mr. Lopez down to the cellar, but then I ran out of cameras. Not a problem you often have in London. That's the plan, then. My, oh, my. Deadbolt trumps technology. The door is sealed, but this rubbish chute might do. It either leads to the cellar or your grisly death. Or both, I suppose. Fucking great.
right, then. Come on out. I'm not gonna cut you. Come on. I heard you, too. waiting for. Well, get over here. <sighs> Thanks for the distraction. Gave me the second I needed to take care of this filth. Jesus, you all right? Boss man was about to carve you up like a kebab, wasn't he? He was. I'm fine. I just need a second to catch my breath and find my files. Oh, wait. I recognize you. Caitlin Lau, the police inspector, yeah? We saw your vids. Wicked how you decided to tackle Mary Kelly on your own. Got me starstruck now. It wasn't always on my own. Who the hell are... You're dead sick, aren't you? You tracked me to the slaughterhouse. No, no, we were following our mate. He got taken from the EPC by the Kellys and ended up here. Hard to believe this is where all those missing people ended up. How they ended up. Then I'm sorry. I don't think there's much hope for finding him alive. The Kellys have got a sick little operation going. A kind of human organ black market. I've been investigating them for months. And they got my fucking files. God, I feel like shit. You should rest. Let me ring up my mates. One of them will come and get you out of this shithole. I'll go find Angel, and then I'll find your files, yeah? They seem important. Everything I've gathered on Mary Kelly. Almost enough to take her down. Shit. We should look into joining forces. Make an alliance of some sort. We want to take that bitch down too. All right, an operative is on their way to escort Inspector Lau. So, let's find Angel and Inspector Lau's files. I'll wait for your guy in here. And... I'm glad we're joining forth. There's no doubt about it. This whole operation is meant to harvest organs. Clan Kelly's chopping off the parts they want and burning the leftovers. Only none of them were willing donors, were they? Mary Kelly's decided she's just taking what she wants. Fuck me! Fucking hell, their faces were bashed in. Got to do one of your facial reconstructions, Bags. Take a picture and I can run key details past various databases.
negative. Clan Kelly's one of the most powerful groups in London. We have to stop them, which means stopping Mary Kelly herself. Unfortunately, I must confirm that this is indeed Angel Lopez. Shit. Angel. He knew the risks. I did too, but... Never thought DedSec would get caught up in this. Mary Kelly is preying on London's most vulnerable. She's a fucking monster. Taking her out needs to be a dead sec priority. Now we need to find Caitlin Lau's case files on Mary Kelly and see if my conjecture may be correct. Could Mary Kelly be in zero day? Well done, you got the files. The inspector will be impressed. Now get out of here before someone decides to turn you into minced meat. Chop chop. Yeah, no fucking shit. Dead sec? Caitlin Lau here. I, uh, wanted to thank you. I'd be nothing but an anatomy lesson by now. Or a pile of ashes. You'll be happy to know that Inspector Lau has been escorted to a nearby refuge and is getting her wounds treated. I'll be fine. Still a little flighty from whatever they gave me. And frankly, a little stunned that we've joined forces. Who'd have thought dead sec would ever work with the law? But I can't deny we have to put a stop to Mary Kelly. So let's do this. Exactly. You have an organization, I have information, and some backing from powerful people. Pool our resources, and we might just take her down. Mary Kelly's no petty criminal. Better contact the lot, Bagley. We need to get together and talk on these files. I'll sync with Inspector Lau and prepare a briefing. Okay guys, going to here, please like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. One look, the heat is rising And I've been cold for so long One touch and